Hey champion guitar players, today I show you how to use 7th chord arpeggios as little speed bursts that sound great and help you to increase your sweep picking speed. Now these little 7th arpeggios are all laid out on the fretboard to make it easy to sweep pick them fast and clean. And the best part is we're going to put some cool vibrato on some of these to make the phrasing sound great. So grab your guitar and let's go. Here's example number one. A little faster. All right, so what we have going on here, I'm starting with an upstroke on the C-sharp note. So I'm, this is up, fret 16, upstroke, then downstroke on fret 19, then another downstroke on fret 18 of the D string, then downstroke on fret 16 on the third string, and then up on fret 18 of the third string, and then applying a little vibrato at the end, like this. So the notes here, we've got C sharp, and then we've got E, that's the third, this is a C sharp minor seventh chord. C sharp, E, G sharp, B, and then C sharp. So one, flat three, five, flat seven, one. And that makes a C sharp minor seventh arpeggio. Here's example number two. All right, so what we've got going on there, we've got the same four notes that we had in example one. We've got C sharp, E, G sharp, and B. The order of the notes is a little bit different now. So we're starting on the B note, fret 16, upstroke with the pick, then downstroke on the C sharp note, fret 18, then down on E, down on G sharp, and up on B. So we're starting on B, and we're ending on B but we're still playing a C-sharp minor seventh arpeggio. Got a nice little delayed vibrato there at the end. Let's take a look at example number three. Now let's speed it up a little bit. So there, what you have is example one and example two, we're simply combining them. So we're starting here on C-sharp, Upstroke, down, 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 that's our sweep picking. Then up, a little vibrato here. And then you can do another upstroke. I'll talk about that in a moment. Up, then down, 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 up. Now you might be wondering why two upstrokes in a row on two consecutive notes on the same string? That certainly isn't sweep picking. It's not directional picking either. Why do that? Well. You could do a downstroke on the start of the second arpeggio, and then you'd have to do a hammer-on, or you could do an upstroke there, but then you, the pick would be going the wrong way. But if we do this, up, down, 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 up, when we're doing the vibrato, we have got a lot of time to sort of reset our hand. So we can start the next one, the second half of the example, with an up. There's plenty of time there. <laughs> So check that out, grab your guitar, and try that. All right, before we move on to the next set of examples, I've got another video on YouTube, a longer one, called Guitar Speed Bursts, Build Your Guitar Speed. Check that one out, because it will go into some details about speed bursts that we won't have time to go into on this video. So check that out, come back, watch the next set of examples of this video. All right, now let's take a look at example number four. This is the same as example number two, but now we are descending. So we're gonna start on the 19th fret with the, you can use the third finger or the fourth finger. Okay, the tablature is just gonna show third finger, but you can, use, I like to use fourth finger sometimes too. All right, so we got downstroke, then up, up, up for the sweep, and then down at the end. We got a nice little vibrato there. All right, now for example five, this is the same as example one, but now descending. It's a really cool sounding one. And again, it's downstroke, then up, 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 down. And you got a little vibrato there at the end. Sounds cool. 
Even slow, it sounds nice. All right, now let's take a look at example six. Here we're gonna combine the what we did in examples four and five. All right, so again, this one is really cool. We're starting with a downstroke, then up, 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 down. You can pause for a little vibrato here. Then down again to set up the sweep picking coming this way. Okay, so again, we've got two downstrokes in a row right in the middle of this example. And as I mentioned previously in example number three, once you've got this note and you're resetting, you can reset your pick to do another downstroke so you got two perfect sweeps there in this example. All right, now let's take a look at example number seven. Here we're gonna combine example three and example six into a little bit of a larger example, and I'll play it slower. It sounds like this. Really cool sound. What's what I like about this is the vibrato or the, the opportunity to do vibrato in between each little one octave of the minor seventh arpeggios here. You don't have to do vibrato in there, of course. You can just skip that, or if you don't like the thick, heavy, wide vibrato, you can do thinner and you know however you want, BB King style or you know whatever vibrato you like. But it's a what makes these cool is the integration between the sweep picking of the minor seventh arpeggios and the vibrato. So it's a, just a really cool way to develop phrasing. And again, you don't have to copy the vibrato I'm doing if you don't like it, do your own thing. But integrate the sweep picking with the vibrato. You can do it with instant vibrato where you're doing it right away, or you can do what I was doing earlier, the delayed vibrato where you hold the note out, you pause for a moment and then apply the vibrato. That also sounds really cool. Now you may have noticed that all of the arpeggios I've shown you so far are laid out in a two, one, two pattern, two, one, two. And what that means is that there are two notes on the first string we're gonna play, one note on the middle string, and then two notes on the last string or the higher string. So going back to example number one, we've got two notes, then one note on the next string, then two notes on the following string. So it's a two, one, two pattern. The other examples also had that. So if we go up here, again, it's two, one, two. So I've got another video on YouTube that is specific just to that two, one, two speed arpeggios. It's called Sweet Picking Tutorial, two, one, two speed arpeggios. Go check that out. Let's take a look at example number eight. <laughs> slower, it sounds like this. All right, so what we have here, we've, we're combining a few different things. We're, we're not stopping and pausing to do the vibrato in between each one octave of these minor seventh arpeggios. So up here, C sharp minor seven, we're starting on B. And we're actually gonna do a downstroke and then a hammer on. So it's down, hammer on, down, down, up on the 19th fret, down on the 21st fret. We're gonna add our fourth finger here to fret 21. And then do a pull off from 21 to 19 and 19 to 16. And then we're gonna continue our sweep picking. 17th fret, 18th fret, pull off to 16. Then continue the sweep picking, 18th fret, 19th fret, and then the C sharp note on the 16th fret. And you can slide off, do vibrato, whatever. So it sounds pretty cool. Sounds good slow, sounds good medium, sounds good fast. It's really cool. When you practice this, it will help you to build speed, but it's also a very cool melodic um, seventh arpeggio. Let's take a look at example number nine. All 
All right, so if you slow this down a little bit, it's going to sound like this. So we've got, again, starting on B, we have a downstroke, actually, and then a hammer on, and then down, down, up, down, pull off, pull off, up, up, pull off, up, up, down, hammer on, down, down, up. So we've got the C sharp minor, seventh arpeggio, one octave is here, going all the way to the root, coming down two octaves, and then going back to the middle of the arpeggio. So we start in the middle, go up, then all the way down, and then back to the center. It's a very cool sound, nice little flurry of notes, sort of a speed burst flurry you can consider it as. All right, now let's talk about how do you practice these fast sweep picking minor seventh arpeggios, these seventh chord arpeggios, these sweeps here. The main thing is to focus on the early examples, the ones I showed you in the beginning. So example one, example two, and then uh, you could skip three for now and go to four and five. Just the little one octave arpeggios, the little speed bursts in one octave in one direction. Practice those, work on getting them pretty clean, and then integrate that with vibrato in whatever style of vibrato that you like. Once you are feeling comfortable with that, then focus on examples three and six. So we still got the small one octave minor seventh chord sweeping our, uh, arpeggios, but we've got the little vibrato breaking them up. So you've got a little time to sort of reset your hands, rethink while you're doing the vibrato, and then going on to the next one. And then you can work on the other examples where you're really integrating them all together and trying to make the phrases sound really cool while you're sweeping through these minor seventh chord vibrato, uh, minor seventh chord arpeggios. Now, if you've got questions or if you've got requests for me to create new videos on other topics, uh, let me know in the comments below. So I read every single comment, no matter how silly or funny it is. And this video was actually requested by someone a while ago, and I finally got around to doing this one uh, for that person. So if you have a topic you'd like to see videos on, let me know, and who knows, I may make one for you. If you want to learn how to sweep pick fast and clean and get all the little technical details, all the little minute motions, I'll show you how step by step, it's all free, in my free e-guide titled Sweep Picking Mastery Secrets Unlocked. What the pros do to sweep pick fast and clean fast. It's free. So click on the link below, download your copy and learn to sweep pick quickly.